Hi guys, yo, welcome to Allogenous Ideas. In this tutorial, I will show you how easy it is for you to send SMS using Python. Okay, if you want to send um, emails using Python, th that is quite straightforward because we have a we have provision for it in uh, Python. It's inbuilt. Plug in your SMTP server into the inbuilt uh, SMTP lib. Plug in your username and your password and um, the port number, and you're good to go. But in the case of the SMS, it is not like that. But um, we have some third-party SMS API um, services, vendors, that we can uh, integrate with our Python script that we do the sending for us. We use our Python script to communicate to this service. Then from there, they will do the sending. We will supply the data to be sent. All right. So the three-step process that we are going to be following is simple. The first one is to register with the service. Then the second step is to get a API token or API secret as the case may be. While the third part will be to get the provided REST API endpoints to get the um, REST API endpoints. Okay, then coupled with your documentation, we'll be able to know how to make use of the endpoints. So the first thing we want to do. Um, is to import requests. So, requests. So, if you don't have requests installed in your device, you can just do um, Python py so Python minus n pip install requests. And this will get requests installed in your on your device so that should be it then after importing requests the next thing you want to do depending on the sms api service that you choose to go with you will be provided with a url so let me just make room for it so this will be the url then you will obviously have um query parameters that you're supposed to supply for example the the sender id um the recipient your API token and all those things, then the body of the message itself. So let me do something like params. So this params, um, I can do something like um, API token. I want to show you how you can use any SMS API, um, bulk SMS API service at all. So if you check your documentation, you will see the data you are supposed to supply. So this is one, then from Then this will be the sender ID. Then I can have something like two. So for this two will obviously be the recipient. Then we have the body, okay, which is the body of the message itself. So let me also leave that as an empty string. Now, one way or the other, you have to authorize yourself. You have to send some kind of data to show that this is the person sending this data. The person is registered with us and this is their means of identification. That is where the API token comes in. Now, some vendors will require that you send your API token as part of the query parameters. All right, as part of the query parameters. While others might just request that you send the token as a bearer token. Now, if you're going to be sending as part of the query parameters, this is how you will go about it. Look for the appropriate key in the API documentation. Then you also check all these other ones. So, but in my own case, in, in, uh, the way you will pass the API token, if you're using BR token, is um, for you to, you can set the headers variable, then you can authorization, then you just say BR, then you pass in the API token. Okay, so you copy your API token and just bring it here, and that is it, and that is it. So after doing all that, you want to launch the request. You want to launch the request. You have your parameters, you have your headers ready, and you also have the URL. So what you want to do, if it's a post or get request you're supposed to launch, the API documentation will shed more light on that. But 
this is how you launch the request. Um, I'm going to be using the post for this example. Just response equal to requests dot post. Then you're going to be passing in the URL that you are posting to, which is this URL over here, the endpoint of the SMS API. Then the next thing that you have to supply is the headers. Now, if you are passing your API token as a bearer token, a part of the headers, then this is when you just say headers equal to headers. But if you are passing your BR token as if you are passing your API token as just part of the query parameters, then this is not needed. Then you just take this one off. Okay. So, but you have to pass in the parameters. So just say data equal to params. Okay. And that is it. And that is it. So after launching it, it is going to be giving you a response. So this particular response now, you want to convert it to JSON. So to convert the response to JSON, you can just say response equal to no, response equal to response dot JSON. Okay. So equal to response or JSON, then just print response. Just print response, and that is it. Now, now that we have a the script itself written we have to look for an sms api service that will give us the url that will give us the um, documentation required to format these parameters properly then the documentation will also tell us if we are supposed to pass the api token or the api key as part of the headers or as part of the uh, query parameters as part of the post data. In this case, I'm also launching a post request. The API, the API documentation will tell us if we are supposed to pass in a post or a GET request. All right. So we have so many SMS um, API service providers for this particular use. We have the Amazon Web Service, Simple Notification Service. We have Twilio's programmable SMS. But one very important factor to consider before choosing a service provider is number one, their availability in your country, their SMS delivery success rates in your country and their affordability as well because some services are obviously cheaper than others. Okay, So for your application, you want the best quality at the lowest um, rate, the most affordable quality, like best quality that's affordable. So I did a bit of research to find the best third-party SMS API um, service providers. So I came up with a list, but um, obviously, you might find one or two that uh, are better than the ones that I'll be showing you in this video. Um, I don't have any endorsements with these companies, but I, just out of my research, I found these ones. This is uh, Cinch, a very good service, and I think they have a free trial. You can check it out. So I think if you go under, okay, I think this is what exactly. So you can just check it out, check it out. Then we have the tellings. We have the tellings. You can just um, check the tellings, check the global coverage. Make sure that you, you choose only a service that is available in your country, please. Choose a service that's available in your country. So um, all these ones, they will obviously give you the API endpoint and also the documentation. So I think this is one of the cheapest I've seen so far. So we also have Africa stock and if you're in Africa, anywhere in Africa, I think this will be your best bet. I believe this will be your best bet if you're anywhere in Africa. Then we also have this one, fast to SMS. If you're in India, I think this is your best bet, but you can check out any other uh, service available to you that you are used to or any other one. So for those of us in India, this is what to use. Then we have um, the Amazon Web Service Simple Notification Service. So you can also check this one out as well. So just um, try to go through them, check the ones that are available in your country. I believe uh, AWS um, SNS is available worldwide. So just check the ones that are available in your country and the ones that are also affordable. Okay, availability, affordability, and the success delivery rate. That is what we are looking for. So apart from all these other ones that I've shown you so far, you can also check this one. This is a list that I um, Google's AI helped me to compile. So if you're in Germany, you can check these ones out. If you're in the Netherlands, you can check this. If you're in the United Kingdom, 
check, check, check all these ones. I um, I went to the goal is to get SMS API service providers that are that are specialized in your country. Okay, because obviously their success delivery rates will be higher than those that deliver worldwide. If your application is targeted towards people in a particular country, then why not just get SMS API service providers that are available in that country? You are the your chances of getting better service, quality service is higher because this is where they are based. This is where they are focused on. So this is if you're in india you have all these other ones if you're in china you can try all these other ones japan singapore south korea australia mexico then the argentina kenya and nigeria okay so but i'm currently in nigeria we have a lot of um sms api service providers in my country but i decided to go with this one i decided to go with this one because um they have a very high success delivery rate across uh, Nigerian networks and over 600 networks worldwide. So it sounds good. And uh, moreover, I'll be getting about 15 to 20 units of SMS for free. And their service is very affordable. Their service is very affordable. I'll be going with this, but you can, any SMS API service provider that you want to go with, it's totally fine. Just sign up, um, sign up and get all the things that are, uh, we, uh, we need over here for the sms to go out we need the api endpoints then we need how to format the parameters if you check the documentation you will get these ones then you are also checking if you are supposed to pass in your api token or your api key if you are passing it in as the headers or just as part of the query parameters so the, then and that is all that is all you are looking for so come here, come back here. So this is the endpoint over here. This is a bit of documentation they have on the API. I think if I go to the dashboard, um, come here. I think this is the documentation. If you are using, um, if you want to use this one that I'm using to follow the tutorial through and through, you can just check the link in the description below. You will see the the link there open it and after you have opened it the first thing you want to do is to register so this is the registration form this is the registration form so just fill the form and um, after that uh, verify your phone number and provide all the required information then you come to this particular link over here you will see the link over here so after registering, you come to this link over here, this API iPhone settings. So I'm logged in. That is why I can just come here directly. One thing you should know is that before you'll be able to use their um, API token, uh, their API services, you have to fund your account with just a thousand Naira, just 1000 Naira. So 1000 Naira at this moment of recording this video is 63 cents, give or take that would be like um, 0 0.63 usd so just after funding the account you can fund it using your um using a bank transfer if you have access to any of these banks or you can do that with your credit card they will just remove the equivalent of 63 cents from your credit card and you'll be able to use this service so i recommend it for because they have a lot of um success delivery a high success delivery rates even worldwide so now how to send this is the api uh, token that we need let me generate a new one by the time you'll be watching the video this token won't be valid anymore so let me just copy this come to my script and um, this is the api token over here so i can just paste it if you come to the documentation over here you will see the data that we are supposed to supply to the endpoint this is the endpoint over here this is the endpoint so just copy this copy then paste the the endpoint link then you check the documentation again for the data you're supposed to pass you can see the api to, you can send a post request or a get request but i'm going to be sending a post request if you are sending a get request so instead of saying request or post this will be request dot get and that is it just request dot get so come back here i'm supposed to pass an api token from to and body and if you come to um, the query parameters, I'm having API token from to and body. So this from, I can just say this uh, message is coming from maybe, let me say, 
Python or let me see halogenous okay let me see halogenous or oh, HID learning so it will be obvious this is where the message is coming from now for these two which is the recipient I have my phone number in this constant.py file I don't want to expose it so I'll just import it so from dot constant no from constant import recipient so this is my phone number copy but you can just paste your phone number as a string directly here so paste then for the body of the message I can just say hello user or I can just say hello Chris welcome to our platform okay so and um, that will be all if you check the documentation after supplying all this um, required um, data just launch your request and if everything goes well you should have um, your message out and that is it so what else do we want to do just launch this request so let me save this and you can see everything that we have this headers we have no use for it so let me just take it out because obviously the API token we are passing it together with the para with the query parameters okay with the post data so come back here this is the API token over here so we don't have any use for this headers I can actually comment it out but in your own case depending on which of these API uh, SMS API service providers you are working with it might be different so just um, I want I want to I want to create that flexibility for you to work with this so but in my own case I will comment this out because it's not working for me it's not required in my end on my end so save this and um, the next thing we want to do is to launch the request how do we launch the request very simple you can decide to launch the request from the terminal or just use this play button over here so basically to run this file okay now if you check what I have over here this is data status is success now the success message that I'm getting over here it will obviously be different from what you will get on your end if you're using a different SMS API service provider so if you want to check more about what this is going to look like come back here this is the documentation of the API if you come here and you download our API documentation it will bring this up so you get more information about the SM the SMS API itself this is like the documentation um, you can see the sample success response sample error response if you scroll down you will get all the information that you require they used PHP extensively in this documentation but we are using Python so just um, just that is that about that so you can see status let me see if I can increase this you can see so status um, success the message I've been sent the message ID is this and the cost is this okay so let me check my phone just to be sure that this message went out and this message went out you can see the message that we sent hello Chris welcome to our platform and you can see the um, sender which is HID learning so that is to tell you that this particular um, script it worked um, just as as required so just we have so many other SMS API uh, service providers over here so just check them out we have this um, the Sage, the Tellings, all these other ones and you can also ch um, check from all these ones here so just look for the one that suits your use case it's affordable it's available in your country and the success delivery rate the message um, delivery rate is high that's what you're looking for so that would be basically that is all for this tutorial how to send um, SMS using Python so um, thank you very much for watching to the end don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions or you require additional information please um, the comment section is open and um, um, don't forget to follow us on social media as well thank you very much I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.